well briefed as they go over towards the far side. The first of the ditches will be number five, the next number nine. The final ditch is 15, 18 fences in all, and racing now towards the first in this Tommy Whittle chase, named after the chairman for 14 years. A long, long family association. His son Bob is now chairman. So over the first, Monsieur Le Curie and Garrison Savannah and Docklands Express and one man and well briefed. Monsieur Le Curie on the inside. And three to one on at the off, the grey one man who jumps that fourth. And a well briefed fifth. And Monsieur Le Curie. The leader at the third from Garrison Savannah. Old man, Docton's Express, one man, and well briefed. Another plain one before the first of the ditches. Number four, Monsieur Le Curie from Garrison Savannah, and one man on the far side, Docton's Express, and then well briefed, and now coming to the first of the ditches. Monsieur Le Curie from Garrison Savannah, and one man. Jump the ditch safely. Monsieur Le Curie from Garrison Savannah, one man. Docklands Express on the inside and well briefed. And all five, all these five winners of 56 races between them in the picture. As they approach the home stretch for the first time. Monsieur Le Curie from Garrison Savannah. Marc Dwar swinging off the grey one man towards the left. Docklands Express towards the right. And well brief just the back marker. Coming to number seven, Monsieur Le Curie and Garrison Savannah. From one man very close to them at the seventh. Little between the leading three, a beautiful jump by the grey towards the left of the picture. Good jump also towards the right by Monsieur Le Curé. And just in behind him, jumping well, this 12 years young Garrison Savannah. Number eight. One man landed in the lead from Monsieur Le Curé, Garrison Savannah. Docklands Express and well briefed as they come down to the second of the ditches, number nine. And one man pops over it from Monsieur Le Curé, Garrison Savannah, Docklands Express, and well briefed, and now coming to the water. One man in front of the stands jumps it beautifully, they all do. One man from Monsieur Le Curé, Garrison Savannah, Docklands Express, being driven up on the inside by Jamie Railton, and then well briefed. Brendan Powell just going towards the outer there to get the unpoached ground as they go over towards the far side. And one man, the leader, from Monsieur Le Curie and Garrison Savannah, then well briefed in Docklands Express. About six lengths between first and last as they come to the tenth. Another beautiful jump by the leader there, one man from Monsieur Le Curie and Garrison Savannah Doctors Express and well briefed. Seven from home, one man. Another beautiful jump. Mark Dwyer must be really enjoying this. So far, he ended up on the floor in the first race. He's having a very contrasting ride here. Six out, one man jumps it from Monsieur Le Curie. Slight mistake there by Garrison Savannah. Well brief, just pecked a little bit. Another plain one before the final ditch. Five out, one man from Monsieur Le Curie, Garrison Savannah, Docklands Express, and well briefed. Now this is the final ditch. Four out in the Tommy Whittle chase. One man from Monsieur Le Curie. One man, Monsieur Le Curie. Well brief, jumps it third. Garrison Savannah, four, and Docklands Express, five. Now they're swinging out of the back stretch. And they've got three fences left to jump in the Tommy Whittle chase. And it's one man, the leader, from Monsieur Le Curie with Jason Titley trying to get on terms on Monsieur Le Curie. But uh, Mark still just uh, swinging off 
One man, Mark Dwyer, as they come down towards the third last fence. One man from Monsieur Le Cure. One man, Monsieur Le Cure, jumping at third. Is well briefed with Garrison Savannah four, Docklands Express five, and one man really stretching now. He'll be pleasing Gordon Richards, my goodness, this afternoon. As he comes down to the second last and hops over it. One man, he really flew it, might have just uh, started this race. Monsieur Le Cure jumped it second. Garrison Savannah and well briefed having a race for third now. As they come down to the final fence, and one man just to jump it, and he hops over it. One man, Mark looks over his right shoulder, sees no danger whatsoever. Jason Titley looks over his shoulder, knows there's no chance of catching the winner, and there's no chance of him being caught for second prize either. 10,113 pounds without any doubt in safe keeping here to the winner, which is one man as they stride up towards the line in the Tommy Whittle chase. And the winner is number five, one man, desperately impressive. Second is number one, Monsieur Le Cure. And third is going to be the 91 Cheltenham Gold Cup winner, Garrison Savannah. Fourth is well briefed. And fifth is Docklands Express. And so the full official result of the Tommy Whitland Whittle chase is first, number five, there's three to one on chance. One man owned by Mr. John Hales, trained by Gordon Richards, his 36th winner of the season, and written by Mark Dwyer. Second was number one, Monsieur Le Cure, owned by Mr. Hector Brown, trained by John Edwards.